Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do Justice Society of America, issue number four from DC Comics, made by Jeff Johns, Dale Eagles, him and Rui Jose. Hope I said that right. Uh, Alex Ross, uh, Alex Ross cover uh, with Wildcat and his son. And we're going to continue with that particular scene because, well, in the last issue, uh, Vandal Savage was here to, well, basically kill them and then his Wildcat's son, Tom, um, is changing into this weird creature. So basically he is now threatening uh, Vandal Savage here. But then Vandal Savage, calm, collected, you know, he's not really impressed. He says, I've skinned and dismembered hundreds of thousands of animals. So show me, boy, is the son of the great wildcat a coward or a lion? So he growls and he says, for the first time in my life, because basically he is a coward. He mostly, you know, walks away from fights. He says, um, for the first time in my life, I'll pig lion. Now look at this freaking awesome page here with Savage and, and you know, Wildcat's son. It looks so freaking awesome. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of Dale Egan's um, heart, uh, art. When I saw him for the very first time, maybe it was this comic I'm not entirely sure, I was sold. He, uh, he has a real feel for old school art, you know, um, Silver Age maybe. Uh, stuff. Um, I'm not saying that his art is Silver Age, but his the way he uh, you know um, creates or uh, draws men and women like uh, you know strong, bulky, uh, muscled, uh, square jaw, and, and females all are you know good looking and, and slim and, and also strong. So yeah, um, moving on. So the um, the Nazi team is, is uh, trying to kill uh, a lot of people. And also Stripesy. Stripesy is, uh, I believe, the uh, was the helper, sidekick of Starman, right? But then uh, the GSA, or part of the GSA, comes to the rescue. And uh, Jay Garrick is taking on uh, Baroness Blitz, Blitzkrieg, right? And um, so Power Girl is uh, basically, you know, directing the, the attack and says that... Um, Hey, Cyclone, get the ground, get on the ground and put out the fires. And we see also a little bit narrative of, uh, of Cyclone here. She says to her that when on the first day she was, you know, joining the Justice Society and she saw a man die that crashed through the, through the, uh, through the roof. And then she says, now I'm seeing a dragon. Says, oh my gosh, is this real thing? In high school, I started a club called Junior S Justice Society of America. I talked about Stargirl for the three hours of our first meeting. No one came the next week, and a batch of grandma's ginger snaps went to waste. But I still had meetings every day Tuesday. I still talked about my favorite member of the team, even if no one was there. I put Stargirl up on a pedestal, but now seeing her with the family, something happens that I thought never could. The pedestal gets higher. So yeah, she's actually in awe as of all these heroes since she is the rookie. Uh, I like that. She's a, basically a fangirl. Um, but then in a good way. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Captain Nazi is trying to uh, get rid of the mother of uh, Liberty Bell, who was once also Liberty Bell. And Liberty Bell here comes with the rest of the GSA, right? And um, so, yeah, there's, there's going to be a fight. And uh, But then we see um, the, 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 the narrative of damage. When I was 13, I blew my best friend's hands off. He was holding a Roman camel when I touched it. It exploded. My first apparent father, I'm sorry, held a cigarette to my arm until I admitted to lighting, uh, lighting the firecracker. I lasted three minutes. I was 17. I blew up half of downtown Atlanta. The state said they dropped the charges if I agreed never to set foot in Georgia again. Yeah, that's some heavy shit. All right. Um, when I got released from the hospital last month, I went back to the state line. Wondering what they do if I crossed it. Wondering what they could do. I stepped over the line and I waited. Nothing happened. No one came. Before we go further with the narrative, right? Um, oops, resolution is fritzing again. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the GSA is battling Captain Nazi here. 
and uh, of course Hawkman is eager to get in um, so it says I bet I could put a dent or two in his metal you're welcome to try uh, come and try damage least Reich marks to Hawkman and Green Lantern they're busy with Captain Nazi we need to evacuate you evacuate I exterminate so but then Liberty Bell comes in and um, he says, Grant, is everybody safe? But he's preparing for his attack. And then, oh my God. Look at this freaking awesome page. Oh my God. I was all alone, he says. And then he unleashes his power. And look at these freaking awesome effects, you know, with the wind and the smoke and the... And, 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 you know, her hair flowing and it's damaging her, her her clothes. And she says, Rick? But she was caught in a blast. Our man says, Jesse. He says, no, I used to be all alone. Of used to being alone, right? So this was a mistake. The colors are so good. Um, coming back to a little, little bit later. Uh, so yeah, meanwhile, uh, Fandle Savage is having a great time, I guess, with... Um, with the beast, uh, with, no, not beast boy, but you know, with this son of the wildcat. So he says, you want to be the new aide of Hitler? You think too small, cup. I put Hitler in power, and when the delusional artist no longer suited my needs, I put him in a ditch. I'm manipulating the Fourth Reich like I did the Third. I helped the North win the Civil War. I stabbed Caesar in the back. I make history until the GSA and their sons and daughters begin to interfere. With the Justice Society extinct, I'll be in control of history again. I'm going to cook you and eat you. Ah, gas line. Case man trying to start a fire. Start a fire? Who do you think discovered fire? So yeah, uh, people, uh, for those who don't know, Fandel Savage was a caveman. He lived 30,000 years. That's how old he is. And I love this, you know, that he is basically enjoying the fight, right? But he's still... Cool, collected, composed here. That's going to change. And that's where the art is coming in. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Wildcat jumps in front of the back. And then there's an explosion, right? And that throws them out of the building. Also, like that, you know, even the, the ground is erupting. Fire and smoke and all that stuff. Now, okay. What I'm trying to say with the art, where the art comes in. Now, I talked about here when it goes to the first. You know, it looks smug. Calm, like I said, you know, he's, he's in control, right? That's not the case here. Now, we, st we start to look at this here. So, um, Wildcat and his son, is, you know, have a, have a chat with each other still because he didn't know that he can turn into this wear monster. And then look at this, um, com how body language of Fandle Savage and his hair, especially those two. Now we go from this panel to, we come to back to this. So um, Grant says, he says, I didn't know she was behind me. You didn't look. And then, uh, okay, um, Flash taking care of Baron, Baron's Blitzkrieg. I also like that he is doing this and then goes to that. Smacks away in the face. He says, Rick, I'm here, baby. It was an accident. And then um, he says, Jessa didn't know I did it on purpose. Every one of you trying to follow in the Adam's footsteps has no damn idea what they're doing. I'm not following my dad's footsteps. You keep saying that, but you're still wearing his mask. That's a plot point. Um, so then, okay, Captain Nazi comes in and says, Wonderful! Ah, damn it. You like to blow things up? You would make a good Nazi. Um, if not for your face, yeah. I doubt you would be able to attract a fit mother to be. You do not struggle. Perhaps you want me to put out your ugly misery. All right. Um, so, but then he's getting hit in the back by a bell. And they say ding dong. And he says, Grant, are you? Oh, my God. I wear the mask because I have to. And he says, the Nazis are still on their feet. Let's go knock them down. I can do that. Great scene. Great scene, right? So now... Now there's a reason why he's wearing the mask, because he's damaged. It's in the name. It's not only that he can do damage, he's damaged himself physically and mentally. Good stuff. Um, now we're going back to this fight with Savage and, and, uh, and our heroes. 
So they're going back and forth, right? Now look at this body language of Savage, who was, you know, like I said, calm, collected and all that stuff. Now he's wild, like a savage. His hair is flowing all over the place. He's swinging. He's, you know, actually being a caveman. And Dale Eagleson, Arts, is, he's doing that deliberately, right? Maybe in combination with the writer says, hey, listen, I want you to draw him like this. And you see all this, you know, his muscles, his flowing hair, his wild swings, etc., uh, etc. Et while he's trying to kill the GSA, well, Wildcat and his son. And um, and you don't see his face. And I think I thought, hey, why is he doing that in the beginning when I thought first read this comic years and years ago? Well, now I know because I didn't at the time think that uh, ahead of you know ahead of time why the writer or artist did that, right? But they're doing the deliberate. They want to show Vandal Savage as a as a freaking caveman that's strong as well. He still talks, but you don't see his face at all only a little bit here and even here right when he's trying to stab wildcat son you see this hair in front of his eyes and all you see his eyes going oh man i'm gonna get you so well done right um so he says once i kill you in the end of and and, and the rest of your alley's bloodlines i simply wait a century or so that's nothing more than a week to me then i take control of history again keep smiling flintstone gives me a target you don't have the strength to knock me out, Grant. Maybe I don't. Maybe Tom, Tommy doesn't either. But that might. And so he turns around and he has a sound. And oh, my freaking God, he's being ran by, I don't know, a fire truck or something. And you, again, you don't see his face. You only see him getting smacked and crushed by this wagon. It's, it's so good, this fire truck. And um, so and then, you know, he drives over. Um, wildcat here and then uh, so yep so he falls down that's why you call a knockout you don't see you still don't see his face it's deliberate it's so well done it's really cool so they uh, knock out uh, this, this nazi guy and the fight is over right so and then later in the gsa headquarter he says it started in kindergarten i was back uh, in the backyard playing the neighbor's pit bull um, was playing. The neighbor's pit bull got through the fence. And you changed into the weirdcat. I, sc I scared the dog off. I bet. I never told mom. Never told anyone. That's why I always run away from a fight. I'm going to have to teach you stop running. Um, so, yeah, it seems that uh, Mr. Terrific is not stepped down as a chairman. And basically they ask Karen, hey, uh, you are here from the beginning. Um, hey, you drove Wildcat crazy, but you also flew to the top. You're a survivor. So what do you say being a chairwoman of the Justice Society of America? I say hell yes. So yeah, and this I like I like Power Girl. I hate the new Power Girl comic that's coming out because modern comics they completely changed her. Don't buy the comic, it's shit. The art is shit, the story is shit, and they ruined her character. Because somehow called Karen is now being offensive. So she changed the fucking it's just it's get wrecked modern comics. Um Anyway, uh, buy this one. Also, Superman, one of the best Supermans out there. You know, buy it. Trade paperback, hardcover, floppies. I don't care. Buy it. It's dead good. Art by Frank Quietly and Grant Morrison. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's this. Um, but then, um, so we see a shadow, and it's, I believe, Obsidian's work, but I'm not entirely sure. So um, Tommy says, hey, what made you into this? Something I... I, uh, what made me into this? Something I her inherited from you? I don't know how that would work. Yeah, because as far as I know, um, uh, Gr you know, Grant here is not um, a wildcat. Has don't have superpowers. He's just well, he has a little bit of superpowers. He has nine lives, right? Ah, oh, man, I, I have to figure it out how that works. Um, but he says, well, the team will help us. But then there's also some kind of a prediction about. You know, somebody trapped in a crystal ball uh, because of dreams and the huntress, etc. So Mr. Terrific comes here and he asks uh, Dr. Midnight, Fun, hey, uh, since Nathan Wood is stable, we need to get transferred to a hospital. But that, oh no, he grew a metal skeleton leg. And they have to figure out what that means. So Tommy says, that's what Fandle Savage wanted to stop. Kit inheriting their, inheriting their parents' powers. 
Fanda Savage had it all wrong. What do you mean? Fanda Savage fought by cutting down a family trees, there'd be no justice society. Savage fought, we all just die out. Um, so, yeah, there is uh, now another legacy character because I believe... Oh, man, I forgot the, the guy with the whip who died. Mr. Mr. America has a son, I guess. or uh, And um, so Wildcat says, but the Justice Society ain't just about family. Look at Michael Holt and Sandy Hawkins. Courtney Whitman and Jaquim Williams. It's not about the blood that passed down. It's about the symbols. Um, someone else will pick up the mask. That's so cool. So there's going to be a new Mr. America. I like that, right? Um, the steam is an institution that's never going to die. Um, and, and then it leads to this, this particular scene here. Speaking of name, I'm not calling myself Tomcat. Of course not. You're a wildcat. Your wildcat pops. I like this, right? Remember that everyone can be Captain America. Everyone can be Thor. Everyone can be Spider-Man. Everyone can be Wolverine. Yeah. This guy says, no, you are wildcat. I'm not wildcat. You are. Yeah, man. This, this Grant Morrison gets it, right? Um, there's two flashes and a whole bunch of green lanterns. There can be two wildcats. So he says, hey, everybody. I'd like to meet my kid. And look at this freaking awesome double spread splash page with all these cool looking characters and lofty chairs. And oh, we have the shadow over here, right? What does that mean? Uh, but yeah, this is typically superhero stuff, right? This, this is traditional superhero stuff. I like this a lot. This is, um, yeah, this, this superhero series is, is one of my favorites. But it's not over yet, guys, because... We have something else in Gotham. So these guys are running away because it says, hey, uh, tell Commissioner Gordon, um, tell him to light the bat signal. And they are getting eaten, I guess. And who are those? Well, long-time readers of DC Comics probably recognize this costume. And then we have Dr. Destiny. And he says, glimmer of the future of destiny. And she says, this woman... Starboy, where are you? Oh man, this is gonna be so good! And that leads us to the next issue. Yeah, great stuff, guys. Oh man, I'm loving this. I'm loving this a lot. It's 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 great to to read this this comic again that I've been you know it's so long ago that I've read this this whole series. Uh, I'm enjoying this immensely. So more stuff coming up to GSA, uh, guys. Stick around. Uh, leave a comment below. Leave a like and all that stuff. And just. See you next time. Bye-bye.